digital forensics is basically instead of looking at a crime scene out on the street, we're looking at basically a crime scene in a computer. We're looking for digital evidence that uh, either proves or disproves that someone did something. Digital forensics is the forensic science that deals with computer artifacts related to uh, events. It can be uh, crime, theft, uh, any activity on a computer will leave an artifact. And in digital forensics, you are trying to locate those artifacts and use them to either prove a hypothesis or disprove a hypothesis. Digital forensics is IT based, but it is more important to understand that this field is closer to science because it is a branch of, of the forensic science field. Law enforcement is now using digital forensic analysis for criminal cases that aren't necessarily computer related uh, for crimes against people, uh, assaults, uh, bullying, uh, and even in some cases, you know, murder. Digital forensics is not, not magic, it is logic. It is kind of like a technician with legal understandings and somewhat of a, I would say, a digital detective. A lot of people fail to recognize that digital forensics is a forensic science. Uh, so yeah, the, the scientific method is very much a part of it. It takes an analytical mind. It takes a logical mind. This field is much closer to science because uh, you have to have a methodology in place a as you approach each case. So the methodological process, which is purely scientific, has to be incorporated in any case or anything you're doing in this field. What we've tried to do is teach a methodology to our students of how to approach gathering evidence, doing the research, preparing the evidence, documenting it, so that uh, the methodology can be used from case to case to case. Digital forensics isn't just about understanding the technology side. There's a much more scientific way of thinking when, when it comes down to it. So the technology aspect helps out but really it comes down to the mindset and it's, it's a very scientific mindset. Richland College is the first two-year institution in the state of Texas to receive the CAE2Y certification. The digital forensics program has two specializations. One is cybercrime focusing on local workforce needs and digital forensics, while the information assurance specialization focuses on protecting the data from breach. Well, information assurance is basically, you know, working towards uh, guaranteeing the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. Cybercrime really focuses on, you know, investigating crimes with digital evidence and with using digital forensics as, a, as your methodology. Information assurance tries to avoid data being lost. Therefore, information assurance focuses on technology, people, and procedures. From an information assurance side, I mean, you're trying to ensure the integrity, availability, and confidentiality of data. And you're doing that in such a way mostly to protect your data. Cybercrime specialization uh, is, is really learning how to investigate crimes uh, using digital forensics uh, and digital forensics practices and methodologies to examine digital data uh, and determine motivation, actors, you know, the who, what, when, where, how, and why, uh, you know, for, to put, you know, to put bad guys away. Digital forensics is data recovery with, with the law in mind, data recovery with policies in mind, and data recovery and data handling where someone can reference that data in a court of law. So after an event has happened, then you come in with digital forensics so you can figure out what happened and try to prevent it from happening again.
what it takes to be good digital forensic practitioners to really have a good investigative mind. That's one of the things that's very hard to teach. You have to be curious about human nature because really that's the, the best skill any forensic analyst or, or practitioner is going to have is trying to find artifacts that prove someone did something or didn't do something or this activity happened on this computer or it didn't. In digital forensics, just because a person can be technically savvy doesn't mean that that's what's going to make them succeed. Um, people that are creative, who have a different way of thinking, think outside of the box, those are the kind of people that really have these great new ideas and really go far with it. It requires an individual that wants to make a difference, wants to make a difference in the industry, wants to make a difference in the country. The depth of knowledge that you have to have grows and grows, and for someone who's hungry for knowledge, it's, I think it's a great field, especially if you love technology and you want to understand it, you want to know what our world is about. I think, you know, you can really benefit a lot from this, this field. We do have some of the most cutting edge equipment. So when the students walk out of our program, our students are used to working with it, understand it, comfortable with it, and so they can walk in the door and be productive from day one. We deal with a lot of technology here that people would generally use on the job. So to work with that hands-on and to put that on your resume is, is something that's it's very valuable. After studying at Richland College and doing the digital forensics track, uh, I was able to find an internship for a private sector forensics firm. And actually, it was a great opportunity because I was able to demonstrate pretty much every skill I learned in these classes and it really prepared me for going into that field. I had a great advantage over um, other people looking into it since I had had that specific training. Taking the forensics program at Richland is going to be very beneficial for me. I can take what I've learned, I can take it to the job can show the employer that I have learned these things, you know, that I am competent, that I have the experience, that I can apply it, that I can get results. So for me, that's what's the most important thing about taking this program at Richland, is I feel that it prepares me for that. And it's something that's going to be very valuable in the future for me and for anyone else who takes this program. If you ask me, the information assurance training that they receive here is every bit as valuable as their math skills, their English skills, um, if you're a business major, the accounting skills, because the information security is just going to be a part of our lives going forward, and there's no way around it. What digital forensics is doing is, you know, bringing justice to these new sort of crimes that really haven't been seen before. You realize that, that with digital forensics, a lot of the time, what you're doing has a real world impact. You know, it's not just ones and zeros. And, you know, that's, that's a very good feeling when you realize that you can assist law enforcement in such a way that you can help bring someone to justice and see someone, you know, held accountable for a really bad crime. It is very challenging, very rewarding. They are job opportunities. I have corporations asking for more interns and more qualified students. So far our students graduated out of program and got placed in forensic firms. We have very positive feedback from corporations that our students are ready to go to work the very next day and that is unique for those graduating with, with a degree in this field. When I talk to friends and acquaintances about digital forensics, one of the things that I mention to them is that it's, it's a new field, it's just coming out, people are discovering new things on a daily basis, and it's a field that you're going to want to be in.